What's going on guys? So today I'm going to be showing you what to do when you receive your baby tortoise. So the first thing that I like to do is obviously open up the box so that you can get this guy out of here as fast as possible. Now this tortoise I didn't actually ship. This is one of my tortoises so this is just an example of what you should do. But um, a tortoise, they usually when you ship a live animal they're shipped priority overnight. So they're usually about, um, they're usually about 18 hours in transit. Um, 18 like 16 to 18 hours which isn't too bad it's about what they sleep they sleep baby tortoises sleep about 19 hours a day but they'll just be sleeping throughout the whole way tortoises aren't gonna be too stressed out first thing you want to do is obviously get the baby tortoise out make sure he's healthy you want to check his eyes and everything I'm gonna show you what a healthy baby tortoise looks like so right there you can see he's active his eyes look healthy they're not uh, sunken in they're not foggy they're nice and black and you can see right there this is how a healthy tortoise looks you can see he has a little bit of the yolk sac this guy's a couple weeks old already so sometimes when you ship them uh, this would be completely absorbed sometimes it takes a little bit longer but once they're already like this shipping is okay so there you go I always like to make sure that the baby tortoises are eating before sending them out and now all I want to do is soak this guy and feed him some food. All right, so now what you want to do is you want to get some warm water and I'll show you the temperature that I do now. I usually just do it by feel. I don't actually temp the water. So just make sure it's a little warm and you fill this up a little bit. All right, so you want to see how shallow the water is. That's about my fingernail right there so now the temperature of the water is about 92 degrees so that's about roughly what you want 85 to 90 around there not too hot and not too cold and now you just want to put the baby in there for about 15 minutes and this just helps him wake up and get hydrated usually when you soak them they become very active and then they'll be ready to eat right away i always soak my babies before feeding so after you soak them, I recommend you feed them as well. Something that you could do if it's warm enough outside is soak them outside. I like to do half shade and half sun so that these guys could get a little bit of natural UVB. 15 minutes a day is a good amount for a baby tortoise to get. Uh, 12 hours of uh, fake artificial UVB like the lamps is the same as 15 minutes of natural sunlight. So you could, this is, these 15 minutes are very good for them and they could choose between going in and out of the sunlight as they please. Now, when you have a baby tortoise, this is something you really want to be looking out for. Um, you don't want these guys flipping over under direct sunlight or under the heat lamp because they could get overheated and they could die. But um, the next step is to feed these guys after soaking for about 15 minutes. That's the little one that we're working with today. So all I do is sprinkle some. Obviously, I have a lot of tortoises, so this is going to be for all of the babies. And I'm actually going to be getting more. But just for this video, we're going to put this one little guy in by himself because he was soaking before the other ones and let's wait for him to start eating while we do that i'm going to tell you guys about these babies that i have for sale so these are all the baby sulcata tortoises that hatched out uh this month these babies are uh oh, i thought he was peeing on me but that was just water these babies are tanks uh sons and daughters so if you guys are interested in purchasing some of these guys they are related to tank and I have a few couple genetics, like I have Luna. These are Lunas, these are Nexus, and I have a little mixture of, of Shadow and Luna here. These are Lunas and these are Shadows. So if you guys are interested, I got three separate genetics, so you could get three uh, babies that are not gonna be the same blood related. And then I also got some Redfoots, have some high blonde uh, Redfoots so you can see the shells are a lot more yellow and I sometimes confuse these guys for the sulcatas when you're looking really fast and then I got the darker red foots as you can see and high orange red foots as well as you can see the colors are really bright on these guys and then of course the one cherry head that I have look at that guy so this is not a red foot this is an actual cherry head and he is for sale all of these are for sale on shadowsreptiles.com uh, the link's going to be in the description, so if you guys are interested in ordering one, you guys can go check it out. Make sure you know what you're getting yourself into. I do have some information under the the tortoise that you're gonna, when you click the picture, you're going to see some information about them. And uh, I also have videos on my YouTube channel on how to take care of them.
Look at this guy playing in the water. He's actually trying to throw the water on top of the back of his show. <clears throat> and they keep flipping over. All right, and there you go. As you can see, a lot of the babies are already starting to eat. I just put them in right now. The cherry heads going at the food. Some of the baby sulcatas. And yeah, a lot of these guys are gonna be shipped out uh, very soon in about four or five days on Monday. This coming Monday, they're gonna all be shipped to their new homes. Um, so if you guys want to be on that list, make sure you guys go to shadowsreptiles.com and get yourself a baby tortoise. Just remember those baby sulcatas could get this big and even bigger. This is one of my smaller sulcatas. So make sure you guys do your research before getting yourself a baby tortoise. Now the red foots do stay smaller. This is a yellow foot, but none of my red foots are bigger than this yellow foot right here. So they're a lot more manageable. You could actually keep them indoors during the winter if you live in a colder state and just keep them outdoors during the summer. So this is an easier species to keep, but there are smaller tortoises. Right now I don't have any available. The cherry head does stay smaller than both species. A cherry head would be probably about this big. Um, so if you guys are interested make sure you check out shadowsreptiles.com right now i don't have any smaller species all right so all the babies are going at the food and that's what i like to do whenever i receive a tortoise if you guys saw the video where i unboxed these guys the bait the leopard tortoises you saw that i did pretty much the same thing took them out the box soaked them put them in their enclosures and fed them so that's what i recommend you do when you get your tortoise make sure you have your setup ready before the tortoise arrives obviously unless uh you already got all the materials and stuff and you can set it up real quick uh, i live in south florida so i keep all my tortoises inside i don't use any heat lamps unless it's winter time i just do everything natural i keep them outdoors the humidity is perfect the sunlight they get uvb for about 15 minutes to an hour every day they get hydration uh from soaking like you saw earlier and yeah these guys do great here these guys are already um i've had them i just got all the leopards recently it's been only a few months the red foot i've had for maybe half a year already so these guys are fairly new to shadows reptiles but i have a lot of tortoises that i've been growing out so pretty cool and they all do really good here in south florida the leopards are some a new species that i'm working with and they don't do as well because of all the rain so you got to get them small as babies and raise them up so they get acclimated to the temperatures or not the temperatures the humidity here this is why i have babies and not adults if not i would have just bought a group of adults right off the bat but yeah these guys are awesome and look at that that red for this is one of my favorite tortoises with all this marbling that he has super cool tortoise he's really heavy too he's been eating really good so that's cool he weighs and the pet the ones that i got at the pet shop they're a lot less heavy than the other ones so you can see these are about the same size but the pet shop ones are a lot lighter in uh weight i've been trying to get their weight up i've been feeding they've been eating like crazy they eat everything i throw in here cactus missouri mulberry leaves hibiscus everything that i throw in here this is another one that i got at the same pet shop but they came from a different source and this one is beautiful look how big he is really heavy too so pretty cool these guys are all doing amazing and eating a lot look at them Let's move this one back so that he's not on top of the food. You see how crazy they go? They run around. This one was eating over here. He ran around, came over here. Now he's jumping over the food. They go crazy. I'm going to set these guys up in a bigger outdoor enclosure. I mean, they're already outdoors, but like an actual setup where they're going to have like a little uh, grass area that they could eat. It's going to look real nice. So that's going to be coming in the future. And I have some more baby sulcatas in this enclosure these haven't been nibbling at the cactus too much but they are eating the hibiscus as you can see i just threw these in here these are a little bit younger than the other ones uh so they don't eat right as much because they're still getting nutrients from the yolk sac they usually start eating the sulcatas are really good eaters they'll start eating pretty much right out the egg they'll eat the <clears throat> they'll actually start eating the actual egg yolk or not the yolk the eggs uh the eggshell they'll start eating it as soon as they're hatching out um but sometimes they take a little bit longer to start eating actual food that's why as babies i like to give them a varied diet so that they get used to it because if you feed just one thing when they're this size they're not gonna be they're gonna be very picky growing up and you don't really want that um something really important for them to eat is the actual grass from your yard 
because as adults that's pretty much what they're gonna be eating mostly you know grasses weeds things like that my adults i don't feed too much they eat mostly everything that's in their enclosure uh i like to feed them probably a little bit of missouri every every maybe like twice a week once a week uh depending on the redfoots i just throw in twice a week the sulcatas i give them an each one individual cup of missouri and they love it so that's pretty much what i do to care for my tortoises and that's what i wanted i just wanted to show you because a lot of people ask me what do i do when i receive the tortoise so it's a lot easier to send an actual video than having to explain everything in a paragraph every time that i get it so i just get the link send it to them and that's why i make these videos so that it's easier to just send the link to my customers and i have to explain everything every single time so i hope you guys enjoyed if you did make sure you leave a like if you didn't leave a comment for a future suggestion subscribe turn on post notifications and have a great day